We're truly living in a golden age of TV, there are just so many good shows out there. As great as this is, there's a downside, it's really hard to pick what to watch. Here are our top picks for the best shows you should binge on next. Let's get to it. Number 1. Band of Brothers. On 2001, two days before 9-11, HBO aired the first episodes of Band of Brothers, the 10-part World War II miniseries following the soldiers of Easy Company of the U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division. Television history was made as the most expensive television show ever produced, hit screens on both sides of the Atlantic and would go on to be regarded as one of the greatest television series ever created, noted for its powerful recreation of some of the most iconic battlefields of World War II. Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg present an intense, highly realistic and very graphic portrayal of the war, which is arguably more gripping and certainly more accurate than Saving Private Ryan. The quality of the Band of Brothers series is surprisingly good, and can undoubtedly be added to the list of essential on-screen depictions of the war. It certainly tops my list. Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. Number 2. Narcos. Drugs, Women, Wealth and Mass Murder, The Life of Colombian Drug Baron Pablo Escobar Carries Seismic Dramatic Potential. Narcos arrives on Netflix, promising to strip away the hyperbole surrounding the rise of the King of Cocaine and the Drug Enforcement Administration's efforts to foil him. It's superb. With more plot strands than a Dickens novel, this is drama that commands your utmost attention. Tune out for a second and you'll lose track as Escobar spreads his empire to the US, keep your eyes peeled and you'll be rewarded with a piercingly evocative portrait of 70s and 80s Medellin. Taking its title from the local term for drug dealers, Narcos interweaves drama with actual archival footage, giving it the educational feel of a documentary. That it's framed via the omniscient narration of DA agent Steve Murphy. Narcos lacks sympathetic characters, but pulls in the viewer with solid acting, and a story that's fast-paced enough to distract, from its familiar outline. Number 3. Tunnel. It's a Korean crime thriller series, Detective Park Gwang Ho is desperately trying to catch a serial killer. He chases the killer through a tunnel, and when he comes out the other side, he finds he's been transported 30 years into the future and is in 2017. The killer he's been chasing resumes his spree in the future, and Detective Park Gwang Ho has to stop him. The show focuses on the human elements, the wellspring of emotional truth. Many of the characters have lost someone precious, and the drama underlines just how intangible loss is. Tunnel's dark tone and themes are targeting a specific audience, but the drama isn't as sadistic or bloody as a lot of other dramas in the contemporary police procedural genre. If you're up for a drama that makes you think while you pretend to be an amateur detective, Tunnel is absolutely suited your taste. At number 4. Peaky Blinders, a small gang that run the streets of Birmingham in the aftermath of the Great War. The gang is led by Thomas Shelby, an exceptionally bright and violent man who is revered as a war hero for his role as a tunneler. Peaky Blinders gives the viewer much more action per minute than any other period drama. The show also boasts well-written, strong female characters, an unblinking look at the damage that war has done to the young men of Britain, and a career-best performance from Cork actor Cillian Murphy, in the lead role. As soon as you grow to love the characters, the show wastes no time putting them in danger, taking full control of your body's adrenaline output. Peaky Blinders is something you watch sitting up as opposed to lying down. There is no show that can boast a better return on investment. Number 5. Breaking Bad. Ten years ago, Breaking Bad made its TV debut. A comic drama starring the dad from Malcolm, it answered the question middle-aged men had asked of themselves for generations, what would happen if I quit my boring job and became an outlaw? The answer, it appeared, involved drugs, mobile homes and being stranded in the desert in your pants. The whole thing was about transformation. With Breaking Bad was also emblematic of significant changes in TV and culture as a whole. It became a classic drama for many reasons, some to do with craft, some to do with creativity. But above all else it stood out because, however surreal the surroundings, in its conflicted, complicated characters it was true to reality. Breaking Bad is now rightfully placed at the top of this category. Number 6. Sacred Games. Netflix unveils its first Indian series, a compelling, if mostly familiar, cops and gangsters epic. The Mumbai mob story, based on the acclaimed book by Vikram Chandra, the narrative is slow but the series picks up from the third episode. With Sacred Games, Mumbai, called by its older name of Bombay throughout the series, is a magnificent backdrop to a series about police corruption, rampant crime and a mystery revolving around looming destruction, that may or may not start with religious factions rising up to destroy the city. 
Sacred Games provides the kind of intriguing thrills found in the best of those offerings, a worldly mise en scene that depicts something familiar but with unique local twists. The series is perfect for a weekend binge, not just for the star performance but also for brilliant direction and script. The build-up to the second season and then the finale makes the series worth the hype. Number 7. Dark. The Netflix science fiction show, a multi-generational saga set in small-town Germany, is one of the best shows on television. It really might be the most challenging, ambitious narrative I've ever watched. The story sets in the fictional town of Winden where a missing child, sets four families on a frantic hunt for answers, as they unearth a mind-bending mystery that spans three generations. Each episode kicks off with a narration that deals with some sort of theoretical physics. Every person and every action in the series plays a pivotal role in shaping the past, the present, and the eventual apocalyptic future. Dark is thus, a multi-generational saga set, whose obscure timeline of the narrative turns time into an abstract and never-ending loop. It is tense, the cinematography and acting is great. Dark is slow-paced in the beginning, but it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Number 8. Mindhunter. It is a series about the FBI and serial killers. The beginning of the intertwining of the two, affirms the program as Netflix's strongest drama. Mindhunter is a show explicitly about personal characteristics, and what those characteristics can predict about the way you're likely to behave in the future. The season's final episode feels the most like a standard episode finale, friendly relationships suddenly shift, the danger finally feels real, and the whole thing ends with a cliffhanger so steep you could ride a sled down it. The compelling 10-episode series unfolds like a movie, rather than a collection of distinct episodes, making each episode's end credits feel like a brief glitch, rather than a suggestion to stop watching and save it for next time. Number 9. Game of Thrones, an HBO series that tells the story of a medieval country's civil war. The series, which premiered in April 2011, is set on the fictional continents of Westeros and Essos in a world where seasons stretch on for years. When the story begins, a decade-long summer is ending, and winter looms as characters battle to claim the Iron Throne, it's an entertaining fantasy series raised to the level of global news event, it was always likely to buckle under the weight of the expectations, and the theorizing, placed upon it. Game of Thrones isn't about castles or dragons or sword fighting. It's about power. Even if you're not someone who likes fantasy, you will enjoy Game of Thrones, because it's not so much a fantasy tale as it is an outstanding character-driven drama that just happens to be set in a fantasy setting. Number 10. Vikings, a series based on the true events of the 9th century, begins with a Viking named Ragnar Lothbrok trying to persuade those around him to invade England. Those who haven't watched Vikings will probably assume it's something it's not. Focused on character building and fascinating explorations of early medieval culture and society, Vikings is a surprisingly engaging watch. The show is beautifully shot. Filmed in Ireland but with some background shots done in Norway, Vikings has a really distinctive and engaging atmosphere, and is filled with characters and scenes that look quite unlike much else that we usually see on television. Fimmel's portrayal of Ragnar is incredibly impressive, as he creates this charismatic and reckless figure, and makes him somebody that you believe in time and time again. Far more engrossing than I thought it would be, I'd now wholeheartedly recommend Vikings as a series, that's worth getting into. Thanks for watching.